Sketch the graph of y equals negative 2 cosine 2 times x minus pi over 4 minus 3. So this is now a cosine function. Okay. So again, same thing. First, find the amplitude. The amplitude is absolute value of the number in front of cosine. So that's absolute value of negative 2. That's 2. That's the amplitude. Okay. Next is find the period. The period is 2 pi over absolute value of b. Okay. In this case, b is 2. So that's b. So this is going to give us 2 pi over 2. This is equal to pi. Okay. So therefore, one period is 0, 0 to pi. Again, we're going to divide 0 to pi into 4 equal parts. So, so this is 0, this is pi, uh, this is pi over 2, pi over 4, and then this is 3 pi over 4. Okay. Then we can now sketch the graph we're going to graph y equals 2 cosine 2x okay just that function first because again this will give us um, the phase shift it will just relocate the graph this one also just going to relocate the graph but here we have a negative okay we have a negative that negative will flip the cosine graph okay so remember that the cosine graph looks like this something like that so this negative sign will flip the graph into something like that it's just going to flip the graph uh, with respect to the x-axis. So, therefore, all we need to do is just sketch the graph of 2 cosine 2x first. Okay? So, let's do that. So, that's... So, amplitude is... Amplitude is 2. Okay? Amplitude is 2. So that's sort of the highest point. So we start from 2. Okay, we start from 2. Why is that? Because cosine function starts at the top. Okay, sine function starts at 0, the origin. Cosine function starts at the top, the highest point. So the highest point, um, therefore, is 2. So we're going to start at 2. Okay. Then pi over 4 gonna give us the next point which is uh, in the at the middle uh, and then pi over 2 gives us the lowest point 3 pi over 4 brings back at the center and then pi brings us back at the top okay and so if we sketch the graph we connect the points that's gonna give us this graph right here okay so this is one period of cosine or one period of y equals 2 cosine 2x okay now again remember this one flips the graph with respect to the x-axis and so therefore the graph will actually look like so the graph for negative now we're starting to put negative so the graph of negative 2 cosine 2x will then be hold on so this is the graph of y equals 2 cosine 2x if we flip that it's gonna be here there let's actually use another color um, let's use this so here 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 
here and here so that we connect the dots that gives us this okay so this is the graph of y equals negative 2 cosine 2x okay but we're not done yet because we have a phase shift of pi over 4 and a vertical shift of negative 3 so that means we're gonna move two units uh, let's use another color let's use this okay so that means we're gonna move pi over 4 units to the right okay pi over 4 units to the right also you take note that uh, this sign right here should be negative okay so that means if that's negative then the phase shift um, will be to the right so if that's positive the phase shift will be to the left because the original sign there is negative okay so it means we are going to go pi over 4 units to the right so therefore this point goes here because this is pi over 4 units and then negative 3 me means going down 3 units so we're gonna go down so 1 2 3 so the pi final location would be that point okay this one again pi over 4 units and then 3 units down that goes here this one goes here this one pi over 4 units and then 3 units down that goes here and then this point right here pi over 4 units 3 units down that's there so the final locations are these points so all we need to do is connect the dots Let's use another color uh, okay so then connect so that's the final graph of y equals negative 2 cosine 2 times x minus pi over 4 minus three okay so this is the graph of this function right okay so to recap again we find the amplitude first that's gonna give us the height the period gives us the length of the period and then we divide the interval 0 to pi into four equal parts then we sketch the graph but then again that graph is just the graph of 2 cosine 2x we need to flip the graph because we have a negative and then after flipping the graph we're going to apply the the vertical and horizontal translation so that means that we're going to move our points pi over 4 units to the right and 3 units down that's what we did and voila that's the graph of our function.